Hello everybody, this is Bodrich. Let's make a new video. And yeah, we continue with, with the uh, home page and I think this is something we just need to, to, to do to get it get over with it, you know. We have to talk a little bit about markdown and um, uh, set up some, some CSS for our more CSS for our uh, articles. Uh, right now we just have, have this, but now the server isn't running. Where to start here? Yeah, markdown. Um, did I lose that now? God damn it. No, here it is. Here it is, good. Uh, because I, I searched a while because I wanted to find a, a markdown document, which this is. Markdown documents uh, often have the extension MD, but it can also be markdown. The word markdown is a valid extension that you very seldom see, but, but sometimes you they are called uh, .markdown also. Um, and markdown is a... Uh, you know, HTML, that is a markup language. It's what's called a markup language. I don't know now It's uh, if we can see. Well, here it will not work either. Yeah, let's take this. This is uh, John Gruber, Daring Fireball's uh, site. And this is where he published... Uh, uh, he is the inventor of uh, Markdown. So it was like created from one guy kind of thing. And yeah, we get back to this uh, a bit, but but his web page is probably pretty simple here. We can look at the source, um, and you know th this is HTML uh, markup language. Here here is uh, a list, for instance, li that stands for list uh, element, and then you have a. I don't know if it's anchor or whatever it stands for but this is how you create the link and so on you you know it's a markup language you you, you don't program anything you just uh, 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 specify different markups how how how, how the content should be um, layout and and it's uh, other examples of this is is like uh, la, uh, how do you say it now latesh latex uh, you know uh, but that also have have some more advanced uh, as i understand i have never really used it myself but i think you can do a lot more with it than than both html and css combined and css as we looked at close uh, short in, in in the last video is used to style uh, like a separate document that applies style for the different markup tags <clears throat> and markdown even if it's called markdown is also a markup language uh, but it's a much simpler uh, uh, way to read and write than than html and i guess you could read this introduction here it, it the beauty with Markdown is that uh, the, uh, from the from the start it was extremely simple. It's very few rules here, which we can see in this. Uh, or maybe we should open. I just quickly open try this. What it was, you know, Dingus here, which is uh, uh, I guess some some kind of a test uh, app here, that you can use uh, to test the different Markdown. Um, uh, syntax and here is a sheet sheet and 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 this is really the whole uh, markdown specification as you can see it's it's almost it's just a couple of, of rules uh, so it's very easy to learn this and it's very easy to, to write and and most importantly it's easy to read that I think that's why I like markdown because a good or a markdown document, you can look at it. Did I lose it now? That test document. No, here it is. Here it is. You see, this this is source. This is a raw file here from from GitHub. This file uh, is how it looks like rendered in HTML. 
But if you look at it in, in raw text format, it looks like this and it still looks uh, nice, you know, you can, you can just read this as plain text. And uh, what I could understand, uh, the biggest inspiration for Markdown uh, was is plain text, how you wrote uh, emails in plain text, basically. Uh, and I thought, let's copy this, uh, this test uh, document here um, into our project and create a post out of it, so to speak, so, so, we, can, so we have all the different elements uh, um, in one article. And then we will try to apply styles for them, for, because as you, can, as you will see here now, uh, some, some things will not get uh, rendered correctly when, when we don't have any, any style sheets at all. So here we have uh, uh, the config directory. I think this is something I added uh, since last video uh, in the base URL here. I changed it from example.com or whatever it is by default to, to the actual URL here, but whatever. Yes, we are in the correct directory. Let's do a Hugo new um, posts, and then we can call, we can call this test.md. There, now it should have created that test.md here, uh, and then we just paste this raw markdown. And uh, I'm using Sublime, uh, and I don't remember which uh, plugin it is that renders. Uh, uh, that makes uh, Markdown rendered nice like this. You see, it actually adds some some special kind of syntax highlighting to it. But that that that's not important. Th this could just be uh, plain text uh, uh, as well, you know, and it would still be completely readable. Let's also set this draft to false, so we know that it will get rendered here when we fire up the server. Now we have this test page here. Clicking this, and here we have the, that document uh, uh, generated by Hugo here. But there are some things that, that uh, that we cannot spot here. Um, let's see if I can find one now. I think it can be difficult. Yeah, here this should look different, I guess. Uh, maybe block quotes are at least indented, but maybe we would like some styling to that. I don't know. Maybe we should see if we can bring these two up side by side in, 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 in a way. That's okay. Can I drag this out to its own window by doing this? Yes, a little bit weird, but it worked. Uh, and then show this, and then do this. Nice, hide the tab bar. Okay, so here we have the Hugo version, here we have GitHub's version. And that's also something uh, that is, like, Markdown is not perfect uh, in any way. There are, there are some, some serious drawbacks using it for, for different types of content. But for simple readmes, for simple web pages, blog posts and stuff, it's, it's excellent. It's, it's the best uh, alternative in my opinion. But if you're writing uh, more complicated technical documentation, then it, uh, there, there are better alternatives than Markdown. Um, and another thing is that there are several uh, different flavors of Markdown. GitHub, for example, have its own flavor. And I think Reddit have its own flavor. And there are like R Markdown. And, and so th there are like, I, I don't know how many there are. I also think there is like some sort of organization that tries to define a standard, but they have kind of been doing that since uh, 2004 here when it was uh, created. But in a way, it's so simple that the few rules there are, you know, 
if you just stick to these uh, normal normal tags or what to call it it's it shouldn't be a big deal but whatever okay here it looks the same I cannot spot here we have we will see one difference here this is like inline uh, code here when you do uh, insert uh, BR here here it's rendered with this gray background and this is actually also mono spaced font here here we just have the exact same uh, font and no gray background or anything let's see how it looks uh, in the source yeah why not why not go full tile tiling mode here so I move that there I the sidebar of that guy do this yeah I'm a hacker <laughs> overview philosophy uh, here we have it yeah and now I have disabled the, the syntax highlighting maybe I should apply it again uh, markdown yeah I guess it's markdown editing is, is what it's called there. and here you can choose which type I, I, I don't remember I think I use GFM here all the time I don't know but when you put uh, something inside a uh, single, uh, these are backticks, they are not uh, uh, apostrophes or, or uh, single quotes, you know, the, these are backticks, uh, the, the grav uh, character. So if you put a word within grav character, that means inline code tags. Uh, and if we also look at the source here to see uh, how this is rendered oh man ah, maybe this was the it's better to look at our source here I guess because that's much cleaner we don't get all the github ah, it opened here of course okay um, Yes, here is that part, part, you know, when you do want to insert code, and we can see there are lots of tags here, do uh, have the EM tags, uh, I think that stands for emphasis, and I wonder if that isn't rendered as italic text uh, by default. Yeah, here we can see this is slightly italic as you can see, so this is also rendered differently. And it also is uh, uh, italic here in our uh, uh, Hugo page here as well. But we don't have any styling whatsoever for, for these uh, code, mm, code tags here, for example. And this is something I would like to add to the CSS here now, the, the missing tag, so to speak. Um, you can see there are also a lot of these uh, things, you know. These are like uh, double quotes and single quotes. These are actually, as you can see, uh, not even normal double quotes. They are translated into these uh, fancy curly double quotes or whatever it's called. I think you can uh, uh, add a setting to, to Hugo how you want things like that rendered. But it translates like uh, uh, foreign characters and stuff into HTML compatible uh, uh, escape codes uh, like this. So we have the inline code. Let's see if we can find something else here. Uh, yeah, well, this was actually written like this. Uh, block quotes. Yeah, block quotes here are... Uh, only indented in our version here but maybe we want something more like in this fashion we will see where we go and here we have uh, uh, well the multi-level block quote also was rendered correctly here and block block quotes can contain other markdown elements as headers and lists and stuff that's cool uh, and here, but here we have something uh, different once again here. Uh, this is, uh, uh, let's look at the source again here. Let's see if we can find that stuff. Uh, here we have that, it's called uh, pre, 
I don't remember what... Uh, I guess it stands for preserve. Uh, because in a prep block uh, is supposed to um, preserve the text exactly as it is. It shouldn't wrap the text and, and it's... Mm, the most common use for this is to include like uh, multi-line uh, code blocks or maybe just a single line code block to, to make it more uh, stand out more, you know. And it's also uh, common to, to have this uh, font in, in monospace because it should, uh, in, in these prep blocks, uh, white space and, and uh, position, uh, character position and so on is, is often uh, important so a monospace font is, is uh, usually used so that's something we should add maybe a different background color like they had like, like here and stuff like that then you have lists here looks good and then just blah 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 block quotes I, I don't think there is that much more you know now yeah, here, here's also a good good uh, um, um, example here. You can add if you create one of these inline uh, code blocks. You know, let's see if we can find it in the source here. Yeah, I should also say that that code blocks uh, code blocks can be written in two different ways. Either you indent indent the text with four or is it three, four spaces, and then it will automatically create a code block. But you can also, but I think that is GitHub uh, flavored markdown, but it has become like a standard, and, and it's what I use actually, it is to add uh, um, three uh, back, t uh, or yeah, three back ticks like this, uh, and this. Now, this is also a code block here in, in uh, our example it would be. Uh, and the benefit by using this method is that you can also specify the syntax. Like if I do bash here, then this code is interpreted as bash. Right now we don't have any real bash here, but if I would, because this is also part of this sublime extension, if, if I would add like bash uh, code here, Then it should uh, create different syntax highlighting for it, even in, in my editor, so to speak. And um, I don't know, for uh, bar in uh, whatever. You, you see, you, I even get the syntax highlighting here, and that means it's a, it, it will also, it can, we can also get syntax highlighting in, in our um, articles and stuff. And, but that will be a later video because that, that, that's kind of a topic on itself. But by the standard uh, um, markdown specification, I think it it only have this. Th this is like uh, the real way to create a code block is to indent it uh, with four spaces. Mm. But uh, the nice thing with code blocks is that you can just write raw code, like using these, uh, uh, because these are, are usually uh, uh, very difficult to, to write uh, like angle brackets and uh, ampersands and stuff in, in HTML content but Markdown uh, will automatically or Markdown or the pro Markdown processor will, will automatically uh, generate these HTML escape codes and stuff because yeah it, here it gets weird you know because you can write uh, HTML in a Markdown document you know and then it will get rendered as HTML but if you write HTML inside a code block, it will not get rendered as HTML. It will just be interpreted as text. And you can also, of course, add, uh, add uh, 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 markdown into a code block w without it being um, uh, rendered. Uh, this is a markdown header and so on. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, here, here I can also see they, they actually have this uh, triple uh, back quote uh, way of, of defining a, a code block here. So I guess regular Martin syntax. Uh, yeah, I guess you can use that. That's also part of the basic Martin then. And these these also are very important uh, when you put uh, pound symbols um, in front of a uh, line like this. Start a line with with um, one or more uh, pound symbols. You will create a, a header uh, h h one h two h three tags so, uh, and so on in in HTML. So one pound symbol. That's just um, that that's the largest header. Uh, See. Yeah, now now we can see here. If I had two pound symbols here, it would we will have a smaller. Uh, it's a H two, and then we have a H three below that. But there is a different way to 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 write headers, uh, which is uh, this. This will also be a H one header here now. Uh, and then I think you can write H two headers uh, with like this. I don't know. I, I know when I started using Markdown, I preferred this this way uh, because uh, I just think it makes uh, the plain text here look nicer. Uh, but when you, uh, if, if you want to create like a Markdown parser yourself uh, and stuff, then it's much easier to find the header tags and. and when you're using the pound symbols uh, and, and and you can also only define h1 and h2 with these uh, uh, with that method whatever but it can be good to, to just know about them and then of course this is important how you write uh, links mm. This link has no title attribute. To me, both of these links definitions look exactly the same. Uh, whatever. I think we get back to that. It's not super important, but of course it's very important to know how to write uh, links. Uh, and then of course, how to write bold and uh, uh, italic text. Uh, is it called italic? No, I got whatever. Yeah, I guess it says here um, emphasis. Yeah, okay. Um, emphasized and bold text then, or strong text. So a single star, uh, if you enclose uh, a string within single stars, then you get this style. Uh, emphasized em or uh, italic isn't yeah or you can use single underscores uh, so either a star or a single underscore or double star or du and double underscore and here they I don't know if this is part of the standard either but you can actually use uh, if you want both uh, 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 italic and bold text then you could uh, enclose like uh, do something like this or the opposite like a single uh, underscore and two stars that's kind of uncommon and, and then it gets like really weird but you can do that in in, in some github uh, or uh, markdown flavors But no matter how you write this, they will get uh, uh, in HTML, they will have the EM or the strong tag. So this is what we will use to, 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 um, to style those elements if we need to. To indicate the span of code, yeah, this is uh, this stuff, you know. Okay, but then there is maybe one of the, maybe the most important one of them all. Line breaks, uh, I guess it should be, yeah, here we have. So, uh, yeah, this is the end of the document, good. 
So here, if I write, write something here, I write something here. Save. We can see that line here. And then I write uh, something else here. Save. And then that appears here. It doesn't appear on its own line. Uh, and this is something that so, some people really hate this. And, and it is a bit annoying actually because how if I would like the document to look like this uh, and I want two different lines here then I need to end this line with two or more spaces now it will get rendered properly here uh, or as expected um, but I, I actually think if you just accept that this is how you end, but because the big drawback here is that it kind of very, it's extremely difficult to spot this, to, to know when you look at the document like this, uh, that this line actually ends with two spaces here. You don't really see it till you render it and, and, and stuff like that. Or if you are like me and, and try to use a very strict way of writing text, uh, and that is uh, like... Uh, once upon a time, you know, uh, period, whatever, but that's a very bad sentence, but whatever. Uh, there was a man, period. His name was Badrich, you know. Uh, I don't, when you write something like this, you don't want it rendered like each sentence here on, on its own line, you know. These are all part of the same paragraph and that's what it's all about here, really. Uh, otherwise, it looks like the worst poem in the world and, and that's not really what I'm after here. Uh, I actually want this to get rendered like this with the sentences just concatenated like this. But I, but I think it's a very good practice uh, to... Uh, Try to write one sentence on each line. That's that's good practice to do that because then it, it makes it easier uh, when you're correcting the article and and also it makes uh, like uh, git commits and stuff much more uh, sane and readable. Uh, and um, I think I first I, I read about this technique from from uh, Brian uh, Kernigan. Uh, had some article about this or something, but I don't know if you get what I mean here. Um, but that's that's also very important to understand. And, but, and, but it's also the same thing in HTML. Then you have to manually add these br tags. It, HTML will also just concatenate normal text uh, together. Uh, I don't remember how this will look. Uh, this is one line below. Yeah, and okay, and here we also got that uh, physical. Uh, so, so this is actually two line breaks here, one here and one here, and that's the same as we have here. Um, and this now it will be uh, as one single paragraph, but as you can see, it wraps the document because we have specified so in our CSS. But if I end this with two spaces, then it looks like this. Okay, um, yeah, 30 minutes, that's a lot more than I really wanted to, to do on Markdown. But, but I think we covered everything here now. Uh, and I was kind of thorough with it. And that just shows how, how simple uh, Markdown is. Um, I don't remember, but I'm God damn it! Uh, but I'm pretty sure that um, Hugo supports other uh, other um, Markdown languages as well. Like uh, I, I don't know from the top of my head, and now my tab bar disappeared here. But if you really don't like Markdown, you don't have to use it, and you can still use Hugo. But uh, you kind of want, uh, if you're gonna, going to write uh, content and you want to do it in, in, in like plain text in, in a, 
sober editor like uh, for example Vim or Sublime or some other editor that, that probably uses uh, like uh, monospaced font and stuff uh, meaning like not Microsoft Word, not uh, LibreOffice or something uh, and want a, a very portable way to write it then, then you, you really want to use one of these uh, markdown markup languages you know uh, but I, I, I have stuck to, to markdown I haven't even really um, I have never done an another project uh, uh, voluntarily uh, in, in a different uh, if I can choose markdown I choose markdown then I am a bit fluid I, I, I use I, I think uh, I use some uh, uh, github specific markdown because here as you, uh, in this test file there is nothing about tables for example and that's something you can do with github flavored mark markdown you can somewhat easy easily create tables also even if it is it gets a bit weird there and just there you can see some limitations there are like no standard for for a thing like tables and that's uh, some content uh, it's very important like if you're writing statistic uh, things you know scientific uh, stuff then then it can those things uh, really really matters it, it maybe matters matters more uh, more than than having a, a, a nice uh, readable plain text like this um, and yeah uh, as i said i have no real experience with the others but i think that restructured text is is really really good uh, wh when you need like that uh, the next next level uh, of control uh, okay yeah he, here you can see uh, more uh, some, some about markdown's uh, inspiration there there markdown w wasn't the first there were already set text atx textile restructured text uh, gruta text et text never heard of any any of these except textile and restructured text here but this one has been around uh, for a long time and, and is still uh, widely used thank you for watching um, we never got to style anything but as i can see here there aren't that much to do you know we, ju we will just apply some mono space and and and, and uh, background colors for for the code blocks and then then we are almost uh, done you know but I felt this we, we, we just needed to take ha, have a markdown uh, video and now we have had that and I also say thank you MX STBR here uh, Max Stoiber uh, who created this markdown file because it, it, I, I really had to search to find a file that looks like that looked like this that used the, the, the basic markdown in all the tags in one document so but but this the, this document is an excellent example and also with, with really good uh, information in it not just uh, lorem ipsum uh, text have a great day everybody bye